Hello and today welcome to my channel. In this video we're going to take a look at Manchester City 20 years from now. Have they won another Premiership title? How about Europe? Have they conquered Europe? Who is manager? Who's the top scorer? That kind of stuff. Let's hop in the DeLorean and find out. Okay folks, here we are on the main Manchester City home screen. Quick overview. Uh, I'm going to break some news to you straight off the bat. You can see a uh, quick chart over here that shows um, the league position. We'll take a look at that in a little bit more detail. But there's a couple of them, a couple of them at the top. So it looks like some title success for Manchester City. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. Um, as for your current manager, 20 years from now, Mehmet Ali will be your manager from England. Let's take a look at him a little, little closer. 50 years old. Um, got quite good stats overall. So former under-18s coach at Tottenham and Liverpool before moving over to Man City. And he's just stayed with the club, worked his way up uh, to caretaker manager, to interim manager. Um, it looks like he is going to, has he got the job on a permanent deal? Not too sure. Um, but we will take a look at where they sit in just a second. So here's a quick glance at your squad. If you checked out my previous videos, I had not got the uh, the the appearance the way that it should be. I have tweaked around with it over the past week. So now it should look a lot more clearer to you. Obviously, I can't show everything because I'm not the manager. And if you have watched any Time time Machine movies, you do not mess with the flux. So I'm, I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm not going to take over the reins just to get to look at the financial situation. But anyway, this is a, a quick scan of the uh, of the team. And if you want a quick look at where you are, you are first in the Premier League. So in fact, let's, let's rejig it to see who's the most valuable player. We've got this French fellow on the bench currently, Yves Grenier from France. Um, 27 years old, midfielder slash attacker, can play across the board. David Duffner, also 73 million. Then we've got a Spanish player, Javier Garcia, 24 years old. Uh, Mario Kula, another German left back, 64 million. Christian Cecilia, Italian, 64 million, right in the heart of the midfield. Then we've got a Belgian uh, worth 61 million again. Very, very talented and expensive looking squad, but one uh, major issue that I always seem to have with these teams is there's only one English fella, Kevin Douch, 28 million, uh, 32 years old. He has played for England 87 times. Um, and that's it. Joe Jordan with a very English sounding name, but he is Italian, a very much Italian, 126 caps to his name. Um, but yeah, that's just a quick glance at the team and how much they are worth. Uh, here's a quick scan and some uh, trophy information. We're going to take a look at those in more detail right now. So let's take a look at your league positions over the years. Obviously, we started off about here. You picked up one, two, three, four, five Premier League titles over the past 20 years. So that's not too bad. Every four years on average, picking up uh, a Premier League trophy. You had a bit of a dip here, fifth spot. Uh, depending on other circumstances, it's probably not Champions League. Uh, material so moving forward into the league cup uh, you picked up the league Cup once extra time 22 22 23 beating Chelsea in the final moving forward any final appearances yep losing to Chelsea again uh, losing to Manchester United in what must have been a heated uh, league cup moving into the FA Cup Picking it up, beating Arsenal, the 22-23 campaign after extra time. Beating Watford again in the final, pick up a second FA Cup. Meanwhile, you beat QPR in the final, 2031-2032. And you beat Manchester United in the 2035-36, beating them in the final. And you are also in the final for this current season. Um, obviously, we are May 1st. Still a little bit of wiggle room left. Um, so, possibly a... Um, enjoying season, winning may possibly the Premier League and the FA Cup, maybe amongst others. Meanwhile, let's take a look at the Europe Cup, which is the UEFA Cup, and you won it. You won it in your one and only season, beating West Brom in uh, in the final. How about the Champions League? Doesn't look too promising. In fact, you have yet to win it. But you are in the semi-finals in this season. Um, so still an opportunity to win it in this uh, the 20th season. Meanwhile, you lost to Barcelona in the final. You lost to Chelsea in the final. You lost to Barcelona in the final over the past 20 years. So let's take a look at some of the landmarks um, the past 20 years. Training facilities were upgraded. Um, 
John Stones appointed vice captain. Clubs fail financial player fair play regulations back in 2022. Um, it still looks like the Saudis are running the show. Stadium increased to 61,000. Training facilities upgraded. Bob Curry fails in takeover bid. So your sugar daddies are still there. Meanwhile, let's take a look at your best 11. This is your best 11 over the years. Um, John Stones is in there. Uh, Donorama, he's in there. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne. So those are some of the players that are familiar to you who exist in real life. So let's turn the clock back to 2017, 2018. Teams of the season. Um, Aguero there, 20 goals in that campaign. Next season, he'll back to 21 goals. Again, a lot of familiar names. So it does it does change over the years. Uh, Bernardo Silva got 17 goals in the 2019-2020 campaign. Uh, meanwhile, Alexis Sanchez started to pay off some of that uh, hard-earned cash. 21 goals, 44 appearances in a bit of a change of formation. Uh, meanwhile, Patrick Cuthrone, 22 goals. Uh, if you haven't checked out my videos, he goes to Arsenal for some big money. Uh, later on in his career. Meanwhile, Cotrone once again, 36 goals. Bernardo Silva still in the team. Kevin De Bruyne still in the team. John Stones Michael Keane in this starting 11. It looks like a, a, an English core defence for a few years. Dembele, he's now in the lineup. Morata also um, now into the 2024-25 campaign. Samuel Nuruddin scores 24 goals uh, in, a, in a season where it seems like goals are pretty slim pickings. Across the board, John Stone stills remain. Donnarumma or Donnarumma still goalkeeper. It looks like he's going to be there for a long, 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 long time. John Stone still chipping away in the 2026-27 campaign. Moving forward, ten years from now, John Stone still there. Delhi Ali uh, in amongst the uh, midfield five, I would say. Um, Donnarumma still in goal. Nundrin still up front. Delhi Ali remains. Joe Jordan, that's the Italian fellow who's still on the books. Joe jo uh, uh, John Stone still there. Um, into the 2030-31 campaign and Samuel Woods got 21 goals from the left side of midfield. This one's the, the killer. 4-4-2, revert to 4-4-2. Samuel Nurendine bags 40 goals um, in that season and his compatriot Mbunzoni scores 24 goals. So Surudin, who is still... He's only 33, why? Well, only. He's 33 years old now in the, in, in the present day, which is 2037. Um, cracking a lot of caps for, for Holland. Um, and uh, this is his his history, a brief summary of his history. So that season must have been a belter. I'm sure that's the one where you won the title as well. Um, kicking forward, la 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 la. Let's get to the overall once again. We're going to take a look at some of the players. Uh, look at these. Look at these balmy numbers. Is Samuel Wood 140 goals plus 250 plus. Um, John Stone, 606 appearances, 736 for Donnarumma. Um, so not bad overall, not bad overall. So let's take a look again at a bit of a summarised view of your top scorers for the season. Obviously, Samuel Nurendine got 40 that time. That's the that's the record that currently stands. Patrick Cotron with 36. Um, as for who was who was setting him up all the time? Uh, Yassim Armani, he's got 22 assists here. Kevin De Bruyne got 24. Kevin De Bruyne got 22. So a good portion of your assists over the years from De Bruyne. Meanwhile, youngest player to pull on the Manchester City shirt over the years. Look at this guy. Sam Dean was 20 years old. So not really experimenting with much youth uh, during that campaign. Uh, but no real shockers. Okay, six, okay, no. This year, Ross Quigley, fifteen years, fifteen years, two hundred ninety-five days against Arsenal in the Premier League. So potential, some some future quality player there. As for your oldest player over the years, nothing above thirty-six. Deli Ali um, and De Bruyne um, over the years. Donnarumma, where is he now? Because he, he's a he's a legitimate player. Retired as thirty-six. That's pretty young. For a keeper. As for fastest goal, let's have a look at that. 10 seconds, Vis Greener against Newcastle. Uh, any advances on 10 seconds? That is your lot. Transfer fees. This one was the one I was interested in. So, straight off the bat, Simon Vanderberg from Real Madrid, 101 million. Meanwhile, Yves Gredner from QPR, 108 million. Um, 
Patrick Catrone, 18 million. Malcolm from Bordeaux, 76 million. Uh, look at this small fry here. Asia Elamarendi from Real San Sebastian. Uh, Casmiro from Real Madrid. Take a look at that for a little second. Okay. How about transfer fees received? Uh, not really making too much bang for your buck this season. They picked up 274000 for my team, Blackburn Rovers, for Nick O'Leary, um, who is a 20-year-old youngster, goalkeeper. Um, but the biggest transfer fee received for uh, Patrick Catrone. There it is, $120 million. That's not bad. Bit of business, I guess. $69 million. Cairo to Paris Saint-Germain. And that's, yeah, the rest are all kind of small fry. Take a look at your biggest results over the years. 6-0 winners over Brighton. That's your highest. 6-0 winners over Wolves in the Premier League. How about your biggest defeat? Um, you are receiving it of a 4-1 spanky by United. Two occasions. Um, and Hull. He lost to Hull. That must have been a, a sour game. Meanwhile, your highest scoring game. Seven goals in there against West Brom. Um, also against Arsenal. 4-3 winners. Before you go, this is a quick glance at the Premier League table. Um, also, you can have a quick look at uh, past winners here. So that's a little bit of a bit of a spoiler alert for the for Chelsea fans. Uh, looks like you're quite dominant over the past you know seven or eight years. But you're top of the pile right now. It looks like you got the title in the bag. You got four games left. Your nearest rival are Man United. I've got three, so yours to lose. But I think you can put that one in the in the coffers. If you enjoyed that video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'll keep you bang up to date with all Football Manager content I am create. Um, I have a few game saves lined up. I haven't started them just yet, but I'm going to look to start them in the next couple of days. So stand by for those. But until next time, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Check back for more FM content over the next few days. As for my Rovers fans, fear not. Blackburn Rovers content will always be my number one. So don't you go anywhere. Anyway, let's head back into the dugout for some more FM action.